Hello ladies and gents, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials in Photoshop and not only Photoshop. Today I'm gonna be showing you a great tutorial about face swapping and I will share with you my knowledge about creating that kind of effect, the effect of the swapping parent and the swapping kid. So the kids will become parents and the parents will become again kids and this will be so easy and so fun inside Photoshop that you will love it. So without any hassle, let's just start in Photoshop. I only need one photograph in order to uh, start and you know make this effect. So I found this photograph of this uh, father and son and uh, it's not the best, but anyway, I will be able probably to make it happen. So my final result uh, it is already been applied in Photoshop as you realize here So we will make the parent kid and the kid parent and we will have fun first of all in Photoshop and second We will learn a lot of things uh, from this tutorial. So I will go back again I'm in my browser in Chrome. I will right click over the photograph I will hit the copy image and then I will go to Photoshop. I will go to file new and there I will just give an, a title, let's say, uh, swapping, actually with English, not Greek, swapping heads, heads effect, okay. And then uh, I will just hit the OK button. As you realize here, the Photoshop has just adopted the dimensions of this photograph, of this photograph right here. And the dimensions of this photograph is uh, 2111, 2111. So it is a square uh, photograph. I will hit OK. And then I will just go and hit the Control V key in my keyboard, Command V in Macintosh, or I will go to the menu, Edit Paste. And so my photograph is uh, already been applied. The Photoshop has this uh, this photograph saved into uh, into Photoshop's cache, let's say. So it is already saved into the memory of Photoshop. That way, I will go and uh, make this photograph a little bit smaller. I will go to image, image size, and I will change the dimensions to 1500 width and height. Hit OK. Great, so now my photograph is a little small, uh, smaller and uh, I did that because I have to do that in order to bring out the kid's head and have it high quality because this head has to be enlarged in order to cover the, the grown man's head so if I would uh, just enlarge this piece of uh, image over here I will, uh, I will certainly uh, lose some quality because when you stretch the pixels in order to enlarge them you will lose quality that's why I made the photograph smaller and then I will just paste again the same image edit paste but this time the image it will look bigger because the dimensions of the original image are bigger 2111 and this uh, project right now it has dimension 1500 so uh, if you put the same image now it looks bigger so now i don't really have to enlarge the head of the of this little fella over here and uh, it will stay crisp and clear and it will replace the big head of his dad so let's just start now so this is the preparation the good preparation in photoshop in order to have it good i don't really need the background so i will delete it and now i will just uh, rename the layer one to uh, original uh, or let's say start image i think it's better and now i will uh, go and I will name this uh, larger image. Greaty. And now I will just go and uh, extract the head of this little guy over here. So I will zoom with Control C, Control Plus actually, C <laughs> is Greek word. Anyway, Control Plus and Control Minus. I just zoom and then I will just go uh, grab my pen tool. And of course, I will select the path over here and then I will just zoom in just a tiny bit and I will start, uh, you know, covering the face of this little guy over here. Of course, if you don't know how to operate pen tool, it is really easy. You just connect the dots and then you just drag if you want to make uh, actually curves. So we'll just hit here 
and grab just a tiny bit and then just click here and then click here and drag it and then I will just go outside and create uh, an empty space between the head and the background because the background it is white I will be able to extract it really easy with refine edge and now we'll go just to take the other side of this little guy and I will be soon done as you see I'm already there if you don't know how to operate the pen tool you will never be able to work uh, good in photo manipulations because the pen tool is a wonderful tool it does it's not so uh, so bad I think uh, it is scary but it's not so difficult to be learned so give it a try and uh, I'm sure that you will learn it so I have this uh, let's say uh, shape around this little fella uh, head and then I will go to the paths or else I will go to window I will select the paths over here and I will just go here and hit the control command in Macintosh key and then click and now my path is converted to uh, a selection and then I will go back to the layers and I will go to select over the menu and I will uh, hit the refine edge of course the refine edge will help me take out this background because it's so difficult to take it out with a pen tool or with any tool I should say but the refine edge will help me do the magic with no problem whatsoever so I'll go I'll just pass over this empty space it seems I haven't let my mouse yet or my tablet it seems that I actually uh, taking more background with my selection but when I will just let it out you will realize that the background will be out of here check this out wonderful and then I will just pass over the areas that I didn't actually uh, select before so now I can pass over the head and you realize that the hair and all the stuff they are extracted from the background it's a wonderful thing to take out backgrounds especially simple backgrounds of white or black let's say I will hit OK and now you see my selection and then I will just hit the keys Control J Command J and I will just have this as my selection check this out wonderful afterwards I will just go and um, and I will bring out dad again but the original dad not the the enlarged dad I will go here and now I will just pass and create a new actually I can uh, give a name in this in, in the previous path I will name it boy boy shape a boy or boy path let's say and then I will just click outside and I will create a new sh a new path that way that way I will not uh, actually delete the previous path because maybe I will just need it who knows so we'll start here I will just create again the shape of uh, the father's head and I will go at about here I think it's gonna be okay I will just take a little of his neck no problem he has a nice smile so the neck the extra double chin it's not a problem over here and now I will go and I will pass again I will do the same thing and now we'll close the path I will name it father path great you have to give it a name in order to save it because if you let it uh, as a work path it will be uh, you know replaced by the new one if you ever created a new uh, path and now we'll go to the father path control click or command click over this little icon over here I will go to the layers start image and I will go again to select and refine refine edge and now I will just pass over and you will start to realize that my photograph is gonna be great and of course the hair will be extracted from the background the whole actually area will be extracted from the background wonderful stuff I think that I have uh, overdone it with a little fellow with a boy so I will just check again my creation after I will finish with that great and then I will just pass from here and a little here wonderful and check this out it is ready and great great extracted I will hit OK and then I will go and hit the control J 
And now the father, I will just name this father head. Ah, head, <laughs> great. And then I will go to the young boy. I think the young boy has um, a little, uh, you see that? Whoopsie, hold on, the move tool it has a little white space over here, but I think it is okay, so no problem. I will just name this boy, boy head. And then I will just take the boy head over here. I will just control T or else I will go to edit, free transform. And actually that way I will be able to convert and uh, flip actually the head horizontally. I will right click over this uh, little square and I will select the flip horizontal. Wonderful. And then I will go, I will rotate the, the angle of this uh, head in order to have it straight. I will make it a little smaller. I can just lower the opacity in order to see the original head of the father. I think uh, right here it's going to be okay. Maybe a little lower. Uh, okay, I think over here it's going to be okay. And then I will just uh, increase again the opacity. Maybe I will just uh, put it a little more higher. Great. And hit the enter in order to save, to apply this transformation. And now you have two kids in the block. <laughs> then I will go to take the father's head. Of course, the father's head is hidden over here. I will again take out the boy head and I will go to control tab, control T, command T in Macintosh, right click in order to, cre to uh, uh, create a free transformation. Right click over here, flip horizontal. And then I will just create uh, an angle over here and <laughs> check this out. It looks super cool. Don't you think? And uh, now I have to only position the dad. Maybe I will just expand his face sideways. And now I think it looks great. I think the head looks great. Maybe I will just make it a little bit smaller, but I think it doesn't really need to. Uh, it's gonna be good over here. And uh, maybe I can just expand again that over here in order to hide the ears of the original kid. I think now the kid it is hidden. Great. I will just take it a little more to the right and low. Great. And now dad, it is okay. Check this out. Great. And uh, I think that my work uh, is done, but uh, now it only needs uh, for me to make some fine tuning. So first of all, I have to make the neck more white and more, uh, you know, fresh, just like a kid's neck. So I will go back again here. Maybe I will just have the boy's head over here or maybe the father's head as well. Don't worry. I will go here. I will create uh, a new layer in order to uh, you know, hide those areas over here. I will uh, call this uh, new neck or throat. I think it's called throat. Anyway, I will name this neck. And I will take the stamp tool. Uh, of course, the stamp tool will help me take samples from the neck. So I will go here. I will hit the Alt or the Option key in Macintosh. I will select this area. And then I will go and paint, actually hide this uh, problematic area because I want to give to the kid uh, a new uh, throat, but not so old, okay? It doesn't have to look so, um, uh, you know, with lines and wrinkles and stuff. So I just need to have it as fresh as it can be. And now we'll go again and take some other uh, parts. Of course, I have to find the right light. I don't want to make it obvious that I have just uh, made some edits over here. So I have to be careful. And then I will go maybe here. Wonderful. And then I will go and hide this part. Great. And then maybe over here. Okay. So let's say that it is done. Okay. More or less. And then I will go, I will just make my brush a little more larger. And then I will go and pass from here, maybe from lower over here. Wonderful. And uh, I think my job is done. Of course, I could make it even better, but I really think that it is okay. I don't really have to do so many things over here. 
it is already good and then I will just go and uh, reduce the opacity in order to mix the before and after you see that so I can go at about 60% uh, of the new neck and now my uh, creation looks even more better great and then I will go and I will just uh, lighten this neck because right now this road uh, it is red it is uh, more uh, tanned anyway it looks more old so i have to make it look um, you know white as the skin of this uh, boy over here so i will just go i will hide the boy's neck the boy's head i will take the pen tool once more and i will go and i will just create a selection in order to create a new neck i will go here actually I will not create a new neck, we will just fix and light the old neck. Old throat, old throat anyway, I don't really know what's the difference. I think the neck is the back of this thing and the throat is the front. But you can actually uh, tell me what's the difference if you don't mind. So I will go here and great. I have just created a new shape of course if you see here i have a new work path didn't replace my previous because i used the new name so i will just uh, make a new name again so uh, neck or maybe throat who knows throat um, path path why not great and then i will go control click and then i will go to here and i will just create uh, some adjustments so i will go first of all i will create a hue saturation adjustment and then i will go to the red channel i will reduce the saturation at minus 100 you see that so my neck looks black and white okay but doesn't look red that's the most important thing for me and then i will just uh, increase the lightness at about 100 so i have just reduced the red and i have just enlarged uh, increased actually sorry the lightness then i will just uh, import again the boy head and i will go and create a new layer i will name this color of throat and then I will go change the blend to color and take my brush. I will use a soft brush for this one, a soft brush. Great. I will go to the paths in order to create again this selection because I want to just paint over inside those areas. And I will go to the color of throat and I will just paint with a, with a color of the boy's face. So I will go at about here great and then i will just pass and you see that i'm just coloring the old red neck to a pink better color and then i can just uh, take some dark place dark spots or something and just uh, change in, change the um, the co the uh, you know actually a uh, little color of the main color so now i have more uh, pink white here and, and a little darker over here and i think it is okay so then I will go to select, deselect or control D and you see that the, this place looks better. Last but not least, I will just brighten this a little bit. So I will go again, I will go to the paths, control click and then I will go to brightness contrast. So now I will just increase the brightness just a tiny bit at about 10. Maybe I will reduce the contrast at about um, minus 10 or so. And then I will put all those new necks and every stuff into the into a new group. So I will just select all those four and hit the Control G, Command G in Macintosh, and I will just put all those into a group, and I will name it Throat. So I have the start image, I have the throat, and of course I have the father head, the boy head, the larger image. I don't really need that, so I will just delete it. And now it is time for the shadows because the shadows will play a big part. Of course, I can just uh, change the color of the boys of the original boy's neck, but okay, you can do that as well. You have seen the the tough way of uh, fixing a red neck, so this one is gonna be so easy to make it red yourself. So don't worry, you can do it yourself. Uh, so I'll go and then I will just select the boy head. I will right click, I will hit the blending options. 
and I will uh, go to the drop shadow and then I will go and I will take uh, more low the drop shadow I will just click and drag it I will uh, increase the opacity at about 60 and then I will go to the distance at about uh, let's say 11 or 10 the spread at about 1 and the size I think it's, it can be at about uh, 6 so 60 90 10 1 6 60 90 10 1 6 I'm gonna hit OK and now the shadow is great over here but not great around the head of this guy over here so I have to keep this uh, shadow over only his uh, jaw and not uh, anywhere else maybe over his uh, his uh, son's arm let's say but not outside of the body because I don't want to give the, the you know the expression or actually I don't want to confuse people that they are sitting uh, right uh, before a wall or something so I will go first of all I will uh, take this uh, style I will hold the alt I will drag click and drag actually over the father head and I put the same shadow over the head of the father as well and then I will go and I will uh, select again the effects I will right click I will hit the create layer and now I will uh, take out I will extract actually the shadow from the boy head so now I have a shadow and the boy head with uh, at separate layers I will do the same thing for the father right click over the FX sign create layer okay and now we'll go to the boy head I will create to the boy head drop shadow I will create a layer mask a white layer mask I will invert it by hitting Control I Command I in Macintosh and then I will go again to the father's head and I will do a la I will create a layer mask but instead of just clicking I will hold the Alt and right away I will create a black layer mask and then I will just take uh, a white color brush and I will just pass and actually reveal the shadows to the places that I want and you see that it looks amazing great and then over here and now I don't have those ugly shadows over here because they are hidden inside this mask great and then I will go to the father to the father's shadow actually I will pass it from here and you see that it stays only where I want it to be stayed great and now my work is done my friends so that was my tutorial if you liked my work please subscribe to my channel like my video and why not share this video with your friends I will be here I will be here always with you so uh, don't be afraid to, to ask me you know some new tutorials uh, and of course I will make them for you so uh, this is me this is Evan and I just show you showed you the way of uh, swapping the heads of the parents so now the kid has the parent on his lap or something it is a really funny concept and I'm sure that if you are a photographer a family photographer you will find this concept a really great idea so use it you don't have to mention my name but you have to subscribe to my channel because I will create many more fantastic Photoshop and not only tutorial have fun my friends and keep photoshopping